Kane Avijano set off on his triumph Bonneville from South Shields just over seven months ago in his quest to see the world, fundraise and in the process achieve a Guinness World Record. Facing the unenviable task of having to navigate roads and find places to stay in countries foreign in language and culture, Kane arrived on the rock this afternoon to a hero's welcome from family members. He gave us an idea of where his trip had taken him. France, Germany, Austria, Italy, Croatia, Slovenia, Serbia, Bulgaria, Turkey, Georgia, Armenia, Iran, Pakistan, India, Myanmar, Thailand, Malaysia, Australia, Canada, America, Mexico, Guatemala, Nicaragua, Honduras, Costa Rica, Panama, South America as well, <laughs> you know, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Chile, Argentina. Overall, India has probably been my favorite all around, you know, beautiful scenery. I went uh, in the Himalayas to the highest motorable road in the world with my friends. I would say Iran for the people that I've met and Myanmar for overall just, you know, it's just so tranquil. Everything's so green. It's, it's a beautiful country. The road less traveled is one which is not often taken. And in this instance was one which was pretty hard to find for Kane as he got further and further away from the relative comfort of roads and traffic closer to home. Unsurprisingly, the trip not coming without its fair share of scares. I've had incidents where people have just came across the road in motorways in India, nearly been hit um, in the mountains, massive lorries coming towards me. You know, I'm maybe taking the corner too fast or maybe they're just, they're in the wrong place at the wrong time and, you know, I could have nearly been hit, but there's, there's nine situations so far. I've been very close to being hit. He spent varying hours on the road per day, up to 22 on some occasions, and took his sleeping arrangements one night at a time, staying in hostels, shelters, airports and even out in fields. He admits his worried mum was sending constant messages in the early parts of his journey, but he eased her concern somewhat by installing a GPS system on the back of his bike. And it won't be too long until they're reunited, with Kane hoping to finish the trip before his 24th birthday next Friday. I hope to finish by the 19th. You know, I would like to be back before the, my birthday. That would be great. Um, I'm not too sure what's planned so far. I'm thinking I might go to Morocco um, on the Sunday, just to say I have all six continents that I've been to. Uh, and then, you know, just a straight dash to the finish line, probably um, 3,000 kilometers in four days, three days. And the hours of traveling and weeks of adventure has all been for a worthy cause, with Kane raising money for children's charity UNICEF. I thought by having such a universal charity and such a noble focus such as children, um, it'd be one of the best charities to raise along my trip. And, you know, along my trip, I've seen so many different children, different circumstances, whether that's children on the streets of India, um, you know, begging for money or... You know, there's so many different situations and I think the children are the most important because obviously those children aren't in school at the moment and you know, it's very important that they, they should be and they're in a good situation in, uh, in life and at home and taken care of and everything. He's raised £1,000 so far and anyone keen to add to that total can donate online at bonitour.com as Kane approaches the last leg of an inspirational and brave journey.